And what this ultimately comes down to, guys, is are you growing as fast as you would like in the right places? Because we might have revenue growing, but if the bank account isn't growing, then there's a flaw in the model. If neither are growing, or potentially they're going backwards, there's a potentially or likely a flaw in the model. So once again, sometimes we tend to build a business for ego because it makes us feel good and we want to solve problems and we want to help lots of different people, but that may not necessarily be the right thing in our business. And this all comes down to, are you making the profit you want? For those of you who were with us yesterday when we went through the, the profit pyramid, we start with identifying financial freedom first, net wealth, investment return assumption, surplus we need to allocate, personal income goal, profit goal, revenue goal, client goal, lead goal. Because if we link all of that, it links back to your intrinsic drive, the outcomes that you want. So you build a business that's optimizing for that outcome as opposed to making yourself feel better. Subscribe for more like this and whenever you're ready, click the link below and grab a free copy of my four best selling books, our performance scorecard and our best calculators. It's a roadmap to mastering wealth and financial freedom. Don't forget to subscribe for more proven ways to grow your wealth.